All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is part three of the 3D11 mailbox. This is going to be the easy part, the fun part, the part that you can do whatever you want because the sky is the limit, okay? We're going to add materials and texture. So looking at the model that I just had here, go to the Visualize tab and go to the Materials browser. With the Materials browser, you can pick any material that you like. Drop down this triangle, drop down that triangle, and start looking for what you want. So let's see, we want to... Maybe go for a metal, aluminum, fabricated steel. That's up to you. But I like um, I like to put in, I like the blue mailbox when I was doing mine. But you can do whatever you want. If these icons are too big, change these back to sixty-four by sixty-four so you can see more stuff. All right, where's my blue mailbox? I don't know if there was a blue metal. I mean, there was the anodized one at the top, but that's not really. Ooh, what is that? Brushed blue silver. I want to see what that looks like. So we're going to toss that on there. Uh, we got to be on realistic, by the way. All right, so we got that material on there. We need a, I think we need a white plastic. So let's see if there's plastic, and let's see if there's some kind of white, coarse textured white. We probably don't want, we want fine textured. Uh, if it's got a lot of texture to it, it's going to bounce a lot of light on it. So that right there is going to get filled with white. We got these numbers here. I don't like that already, but I still want to see what it looks like. Again, this is up to you. It's it's however you want to do this. I never really fix my numbers either, but I don't really care about that. Um, maybe I'll do another metal on that, and maybe I'll do something dark. Or maybe, yeah, we'll do like anodized black is kind of cool. All right, we'll go with that. I got to fix this five. It's driving me crazy. That's a little better. Okay, 135. Um, all right, now everything else. I want to turn the sun off because it's driving me crazy right now, and it's really bright on there. And also, if that didn't do it, then you can drop down uh, lights, and you can change your exposure. Right now, it seems like – there we go. I want to be able to see stuff. I'm going to move that later, but for now, I need to be able to see my stuff. Um, okay, so in the material browser, I want to search – I think it's under site work, actually, but I'm looking for asphalt. Uh, you could do wet asphalt. You can do really anything you want back here. If that's the only asphalt, though, then I'll probably go with this one. And then I want to go with a yellow paint. So that's going to be regular paint. Let's see if there's yellow in here. No. Let's go to wall paint. Canary. What is canary? Oh, I'm sorry. I need white paint. Um, see, I almost made that mistake again. Cool white. Boom. Boom. All right, so now I'm going to do a quick render just to see what this is going to look like. Change my exposure again. Exposure should be, I think I said in the last video, between like 5 and 6 or something like that. I want to see what this street looks like. That's pretty good so far. Okay, cancel, close. All right, uh, let's see, what else? Material browser, look for grass. That's also under site work. Still recording? Yes. Under site work, you'll see that there is like, I don't know, grass thick. How about that? And then under site work as well, you'll see that there were cool pavers like that one that you can stick on there or that one. What was the one I used? I can't remember. I like the one I found, but you guys can find it. Hedge. That's interesting. I wonder what that's going to look like on the grass. Ooh. Okay, now two more things, or a couple more things. We have to do concrete is also under site work. So go back. Oh, you know what? Sorry, it's got its own thing. Concrete. Um, you want to do, well, you again, you could do whatever you want. Don't even listen to me. I'm just doing mine in front of you. Um, I'm, you know, I might put this on here, and then I might not like it. I don't know. Like, I, I hate that already. There we go. All right. I don't know why we can't see the preview of that one, but we're just going to go with it. One, two, three, four, and then we got to go with another, what is this, that anodized black, AccuRender black rubber. I don't know what that came from. I was using that for something else. Let's go with, let's just type in black and see what we get here. Black control joints. That's the only one that has black in it. That's strange. Here, anodized black. It's a metal, but it really doesn't matter in these little sections right here boom that's one 
two. And we got one back here. Three. Nah. Three. All right, now zoom into the part that you want to render. Make sure you reset your view before you do this. Close this. Sun status on. You see where your shadow is. If you don't like it, move the time, move the day. Something like that. I think that's okay. Uh, lights, make sure default lighting is off. Exposure looks okay right now, but I might mess with that in a minute once I start rendering. I'm going to change this to medium first, and then I'm going to hit render. So I'm too far zoomed out. I can already tell that. And I also don't like the exposure. So cancel. The exposure has to be lower. It needs to be brighter. Even though this looks like insanely bright, I want to zoom in a little bit too. Um, you'll see that the color will just pop a little bit better when you get that exposure a little bit lower. Okay. So that's getting better. Um, I don't like my bell box color. I think that that's got to be something that sticks out a little bit. But at the same time, this is your project, so you can do whatever you want. Okay. I don't really need to talk much longer. Uh, I'm going to close frames being dropped. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm not going to talk much longer. Okay, you guys can do whatever you want here. All I want, though, is I want a high, and this is for my students. I want high. I want you to render it to 1920 by 1080, and then I want you to hit render. And then this is the copy that I want. When it's done, you can hit save. You're going to save this to be on your documents or R drive, and you're going to make sure you save it as a JPEG, and then hit save and make it the best quality and hit OK. And then you're done, and you can print it out to the color printer. You're going to staple that behind the hidden copy that we already printed, and then that's the project. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This was part three, and then you will see another one coming up in the next couple days. All right.